Windows 10 updates will stop happening. So you need to install the Windows 11 and you get this message, right? You have an older computer and you know it's a good computer and you want to keep it, but Windows, or I should say Microsoft themselves, will not allow you to install Windows 11 unless it has some specific requirements or hardware requirements that will allow it to function properly. So here is the error that you might be getting. And this is because my computer doesn't have any type of TPM that would actually make it somewhat compatible or even to be able to install it using a registry editor. So how do you bypass this issue? Here it says the PC must support TPM 2.0. I am getting this because my computer does not have any type of TPM. It's a really old computer, but I still want to install Windows 11 on it because I like this computer. So why not? One of the options is to edit the registry. And this, this is the information that you would be using in order to make this happen. So you would go to HK Local Machine, System Setup, create a folder that's called MO Setup. And within that folder, you would create a D word, which you would name this and then you would use a value of one to basically allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Of course, like I said, I don't even have any type of TPM, so this won't work. It doesn't matter that you can edit these registry settings, and if so, then that's great if that works for you. However, for some of us, this won't work at all. So we need to use a special tool that will allow us to bypass this. So the first thing you need to do is download the ISO or an image of Windows 11 from Microsoft. And you can do that. And if you don't have a link to it, just ask me in the comments and I'll send you the link. But this is what it looks like. You would get this type of image that will be an ISO. It's basically something that you would burn to a CD or you can mount on your computer to run and this is a 24H2 version of this. And here is what we're going to use when it comes to cheating this system in a way, but, and this is unofficial, so you have to say that you kind of use it at your own risk, but you would use this program called Rufus. Rufus is an application that will let us create a bootable USB drive that will allow us to install this. Okay, go ahead and go to this link Download Rufus and install it. So once you download Rufus, go ahead and open it up. Uh, make sure you insert a USB drive that has at least 10 gigabytes of free storage space because otherwise you won't be able to create this custom image that will allow you to bypass some of these restrictions. And make sure you locate the Windows ISO that you've downloaded previously. And to do this, go ahead and select there. Select the image that we've just showed you earlier and make sure that all of this is set. This is fine. You don't have to do anything else from here if you don't want to. So we're pretty much ready to actually make the changes that we want that will allow us to install Windows 11. So go ahead and select start down here and then we will get a special menu and it says Windows user experience and it says do you want to customize Windows installation and make sure that these two things are checked and it looks like they are checked by default. So all you have to do is select OK after this, but just keep in mind that it says here, remove requirements for, you know, the restrictions for having, you know, four gigs of RAM, secure boot, and for TPM 2.0. And I will also leave this one enabled where it says, remove required requirements for online Microsoft account. And for this one here, I might as well customize a little bit more and create a local account with a user named Kobuman. Why not, right? And of course you got those other options, but for now I will go ahead and just select that just to confirm, I will go ahead and select OK, and now it's writing to my USB drive. Now, when this happens, you don't want to necessarily boot from the USB at all, because that may not work in some cases. However, you can try to mount the image while the USB is plugged in while you have Windows 10 running. So once this finishes, what we're going to do, we will go back to our computer. So this is our Windows 10 computer. And once it finishes, we will open it up and then we will try to initiate the setup from within Windows 10, not necessarily boot to it. Because in some cases, like I said, it doesn't work uh, when you try to boot from the, from the USB itself. So you just have to you know, make sure that you start the upgrade while you're logged into Windows 10. All right, looks like we're finishing up this installation of the image onto our USB drive. And uh, let's go ahead and once it finishes, 
go ahead and open up your file explorer. I'm just going to wait for this to be 100%. All right, NTFS fix up, blah, blah, blah. 100% completed. There it is. All right, I'll go ahead and close it. And let's check it out. Here is our drive here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Here is our custom installation. Let's try it now to see if we get an error for the TPM. All right. Oh, I have to close the old one. That was the old one. Let me just close this real quick. It was confused about that. So let's try this new one again. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Next. Checking for updates. And again, while we are waiting for this, just a reminder, if you need a link to any of this, whether you need to try the registry hack or do you want to try the Rufus installation, you know, where to download things, this and that, just let me know in the comments and I'll give it to you or you can check out the description. All right, looks like we're making some more advanced uh, movement here. So far, so good. Scroll all the way down, select accept. All right, definitely making more progress. And here it is. This is the beginning of upgrading your Windows 10 to Windows 11. This is the first step here that it checks for updates, whether it needs to download the newest updates for the version of Windows system that it's installing. And once it does this, it will simply go to a screen where it's upgrading your computer. If this video helped you upgrade your Windows computer or your computer to Windows 11, please let me know in the comments. I'm curious whether it worked for you as well. And I hope you like and uh, subscribe. And what else? I don't know. I'm just saying things to kind of make this video a little bit longer. And hopefully it's eight minutes long at this point. But yeah, it's happening. So if you're still here hanging out with me, you might as well click like and subscribe. I'm just saying. Again, this is not an official way of doing this. But I am an IT professional. I have 20 years, two decades of experience with IT. And this is certainly a way to install Windows 11. It's not official and it's not necessarily recommended way of doing it, but you can do it. You know, this is for educational purposes, right? Not my channel teaches IT and um, this is definitely IT. Uh, I wish I could explain to you how Rufus does things where they make this custom ISO, but I don't because it's programming and I'm not a programming guy. Unless it's basic stuff like this registry editor stuff here. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah, again, you go to registry. Well, while this is happening, let's look at this. Let me know if you're still with me. I'm going to run it as administrator. Here's our registry editor. And here's where this would go. So, you know, you would navigate to HK local machine here and then go to system and then go to setup. And this is more of an official way of doing it because this came from Microsoft themselves. And uh, you go to this folder here. And if it's not there, you would, you would create one. You would create one. And then within here, you would create a D word. And you would name it this here. Allow upgrades with unsupported TP uh, or, or CPU. So it's a, you would right click, create a new D word. And you would name it that. And then you would double click it. And then make sure the value is set to one. So and and that works if you have actually TPM like 1.2 installed on your computer. Otherwise, you have to do this. That Microsoft is saying that just so you know that once you do it like this, or you trick the you trick it into installing Windows 11, that you would not be getting Windows 11 upgrades or updates, updates. And uh, but they are saying the same thing about Windows 10 which I can believe more, you know, August being the last day or last month to upgrade to Windows 11. And uh, they're saying that, you know, they won't be sending Windows 10 upgrades or updates. I keep saying upgrades because we're upgrading this, I guess. But um, so after that, you will not be safe. Your Windows 10 computer may not be safe to use because of 
they're going to stop doing security updates on it. They won't fix any vulnerabilities or anything. But they're also saying that if you trick your computer into installing Windows 11, they will also know this. And I don't doubt it. And then you would also not get updates even if you do have Windows 11 installed in such manner as this, I suppose. But there's only one way to find out, right? So what do you got to lose? Well, you got to lose your computer if you do nothing. So your computer will be useless. And my computer is not too bad you know when it comes to being able to perform it should be able to handle it i mean here's the here are the specs 16 gigs of of ram and it has an i7 it's an old i7 but it has eight cores or well it has log eight logical cores and has four physical cores so it's hyper threading but you know it's a decent computer so yeah, I'm going to try to make it work, especially considering this is my main kind of troubleshooting computer that I use for my help desk videos and whatnot. So, yeah, this is working. I guarantee you it's working uh, because I've done this many times before. And what now it's just checking and this is going to take a while. And at some point it's going to turn into a blue screen and then it would start to upgrade your computer. And at that point, you have to make sure that you don't touch it until it finishes it's going to reboot and it's going to get to the point where you know how you reboot and then you would see it says please wait while we update your computer it's like a black screen that's what's going to happen but after it checks for updates the whole screen is going to turn blue and then you would have an option to cancel the upgrade is what, what's happening here but i guarantee you it's happening because it otherwise you would get that tpm error that we saw previously so it's it's doing it it's just that this part takes a while it can take you know up to an hour depending how fast your computer is all right enough rambling and uh yeah i'm just gonna leave it at that and thank you all for watching all the way to the end hopefully <laughs> oh yeah well i'm glad i can actually stick around look at this what needs your attention the following things need your attention to continue installing personal files this pc doesn't meet minimum requirements blah 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 i don't care accept i'm going to take the risk and i'm going to click accept so i guess that's one thing that does come up that i forgot to mention so yeah there it is it's still going to do it it says look it's making sure your pc has enough space and there it is it's going to install it i will just click click install and by the way if you want to like keep some of the files like your local profiles it says change what to keep you can keep personal files apps and you know or you can remove everything if you want I'm going to keep it. Why not? And I will click accept and let it do it. All right. So, yeah, that, that's all there is to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad I actually didn't. I almost clicked end on the video before it actually did. I know some people are going to leave a comment to say that, you know, they don't like the way I did this video in the end. Oh, well. Okay. Bye-bye.